When I started to ski, it was one of the only available sports in my village. That's why I chose that section in school. The small town Pakvisniva, where Ignati lives, is located two hours away from the main city by car and two hours away from Moscow by plane. The amount of entertainment is very limited here, especially at winter time when the snow won't melt for five months. Generally speaking, Ignati's life didn't look any different from his peers until the age of five when his aunt discovered Madonna for him. From this point on, Ignati could not take his eyes off the TV whenever his idol was on. The concert is amazing. The more I see it, the more I realize the beauty of the show. And her voice as well. It's really very beautiful. I like the opening of the show. The energy is intense. Ignati's love for Madonna brought a lot of changes into his life. At the age of 12, his mother enrolled him in music school to play the piano. I play day and night. Everybody's sick and tired of listening to it. Now he enjoys his piano classes more than ever, playing his favorite songs from Madonna's last album, So I won these two albums on a Facebook contest. There are so many contests, it was really difficult to win. But I got lucky and I won. My collection began with these albums. This album was the most difficult to get because I saved all my money from school lunches to afford it. Ignati created a lot of flash mobs at his school. His peers at that time were listening to new popular singers, but Ignati didn't care. He proved to everyone that there's only one queen, and that's Madonna. In the beginning, I didn't think that his passion about Madonna was so serious. Till the time I found out that he began to collect her albums, he was trying to win them or even save money to buy them. Madonna had deeply touched his soul. I noticed how her songs made him see life in a different way and to think a little bit differently. His real dream was to see Madonna live. At that moment, she was on a world tour with her last album, Rebel Heart. She didn't have plans to visit Russia, boycotting the government that refused to accept the rights of the LGBT community. Ignati couldn't see Madonna abroad. He only has his mother. She works as a police officer, and because of a law in my country, she is not allowed to travel outside of Russia. So, if Ignati believed in miracles, his mother knew for sure that there was no such thing. Ignati wrote a wish and he put it on his Christmas tree, and his wish was, I want Madonna to come to Polvisnava. All of us were laughing about his wish because we thought it could never happen. Of course, a person of this level could never come to Polvisnava. How old was he when he wrote this note? Fourteen. It happened this year. The only way for Ignati to see Madonna is to play his favorite songs on his piano and wait when he grows up and can finally see her concert. Star Bites. Singer Madonna nearly left, a Krasnoyarsk girl without a finger, but the enthusiastic fan is in seventh heaven. At that time, my name was all over Russian media. Even one of the top TV channels featured a story about Madonna biting my finger before news about President Putin. Journalists, fans, everybody was sending me messages. But a message from a 14-year-old boy deeply touched my soul. He sent me a message and it made me laugh and at the same time it was so cute. I would like to read this message. He wrote, Hello, I'm so happy for you. It's just so amazing. How does Madonna smell? I didn't even think she was going to reply to me because I asked her such a stupid question. Don't you agree? And that's how we began to talk to one another. I answered him, Hi, I'm a very lucky girl. Thank you. Madonna smells like a queen. His innocent words won me over. He would ask me questions like, how was it when the queen was jumping on top of you? Or, is he old enough to watch Avida? Are there explicit scenes? He was proud to send me a picture of his collection. I was kind of like a hero in his eyes. At that time, Madonna's tour moved on to Asia. 
Ignati would run back home to see live streaming concerts. At that time, there was a popular app named Periscope, where anyone could shoot and stream live videos online. Usually, the videos were in low quality, but Ignati was happy regardless. He was very sad one day and sent me a message that he wished he could grow up fast and finally be able to attend a Madonna show if she would come to Russia. One morning I woke up and I thought, why couldn't I make someone's dream come true? Madonna made my dream come true. She saved me from my huge depression. She helped me so much during her world tour and I thought, maybe I can do something good for this boy. I decided to send Ignati to see Madonna's show. We have never met each other, except chatting online for only six days. The tour was coming to an end, and the only country I could send him to was the Philippines. For the rest of the tour dates, Russian citizens need a visa to travel to those countries. I didn't know how to convince Ignati's mother why a stranger named Oksana should send her young son far away to the other side of the planet. Oksana offered Ignati the opportunity to see Madonna's show, and I was confused. I thought, it wasn't true. Someone who has never met my son and lives on the other side of the earth could offer my son this kind of adventure? I introduced myself to her as a journalist, and that the TV station would pay for everything. In the back of my mind, however, I was praying that she wouldn't verify my information because I wasn't working for media anymore at that time and that I would be paying for the entire trip myself. His mother asked me to send her a photo of our shooting crew. My shooting crew was just my friend from Siberia, a camera operator who was around 30 years old, and I think that after Ignati's mother found out about this, she changed her mind. I didn't want to pressure her, so our conversations would end very quickly. I decided to call her back the next day. Ignati's mother offered to send her son on the trip, but only on the condition that a member of her family would be with him. I happily agreed. Madonna's crew supported my idea and decided to give me free concert tickets for him. Meanwhile, Ignati had no idea what's going on. He only knew that we would be shooting him as a young Madonna fan. He had no idea that in just a few short days he would see Madonna live in concert. The moment when Ignati finds out about his surprise, Madonna had a show in Macau, and I sent him the link to the live stream, and I said to him, let's watch Madonna's show online. She is going to perform in two hours, and we began to watch the show and chatted. Do you know where Madonna's next show will be? Do you know where Madonna's next show will be? I think it might be, what's the name of the city? Manila. Do you know who is going to be there? Do you know who is going to be at this show? Madonna. And he's like, Madonna! <laughs> and and I'm, I'm, I texted him, and, and you, yeah? And you. It's going to be live streaming? Tomorrow you will fly to Madonna's show. You were going to go to Manila to see Madonna. Uh, you were going to fly to Manila tomorrow. Is it a joke? Start packing. Which tomorrow? Why tomorrow? Nothing's ready for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm like, no, pack your luggage, be ready. <laughs> Mom, come over here. Which luggage should I pack? Ignati, <laughs> yes, you're going tomorrow. Really? Are you serious? Despite the fact that Oksana was talking to him and we were showing him his plane ticket and his luggage full of clothes, he couldn't believe that we weren't joking. It's going to be tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. Your flight is tomorrow.
Where are we? Ignati. In Moscow. Why are you so happy? Because we are getting closer and closer to Madonna. People of all different nationalities are united by the love they have for Madonna. They are meeting at the show, they communicate, and the borders between countries are erasing. The language barriers are erasing. And all of this is happening because they live for one passion. Madonna had two shows in a row in the Philippines. So we have an expression, miracles never happen. But they do, believe it or not. How else would you account then for the fact that Ignati got invited back for the second show as well? Nobody could believe it, not even me. Madonna performed her song, Crazy For You, for the first time in 10 years at the second show. During her performance, she came towards Ignati. Right over here, I'm standing with a sign, and it was just unforgettable feelings. She touched my hand! Concert was very beautiful. Madonna is the queen. Uh, I love uh, her very, she very much. I'm from Russia. Uh, she didn't uh, go to the Russia with concert. In Russia, go to Madonna in Philippines. Philippines. <laughs> I think that Ignati will remember this day for all his life and that it made him believe in kindness and it will inspire him to give kindness when he grows up. I would like to acknowledge and thank Madonna's crew who helped him get front row tickets. I probably said everything I wanted to say to her, but I just would add Oksana. I don't know. I will find out what more to say as soon as I will see her. Our dream of meeting one another never happened. Now Ignati has turned 22 years old. He moved from his hometown of Pakvisniva to Moscow. He became a TikTok celebrity with over 1 million followers. I reached out to Ignati recently with news that his story will be available on YouTube this month. I wanted to ask him about his new life and to reminisce about his first Madonna show eight years ago. I told him it would take no more than 15 minutes, but he refused. First, he gave me some conditions that I couldn't meet. Then he simply stopped answering. But all of this is not important. I still remember those warm feelings I had when I organized Ignati's trip. To be a genie one day and to make someone's dream come true was some of the best emotions that I ever had. <laughs> 